Moscow uh, with very senior foreign ministry officials. We did have that question, but more generally. In spite of these attempts to portray that Georgians were the ones who were after South Ossetians and uh, uh, trying to kill uh, the nation and uh, the genocide, all of that, the result is that Georgia is occupied. The result is that there is a peace agreement that Russia is not fulfilling. The result is that not only some European leaders, but the rest of the world is humiliated. The result is that Russia is trying to redesign the borders of Eastern Europe. Um, let me, what I expect from the EU um, summit today? Well, I certainly expect and hope that reason and common sense will prevail and the leaders of the European Union will rise above the emotional rhetoric of the day and uh, take uh, a serious strategic look into the perspective of partnership with Russia. Thank you. Uh, but I really feel we have um, reached the cusp of history. We would all want to avoid a, some kind of second cold, cold war. If we get it, I have no doubts who will win it. As Europe, we are ten, ten times richer in resources and uh, sources of power than Russia, together with the United States, 20 times. Karl Marx said that uh, historical events usually happen twice, first as a drama, second as a farce. I think it's not too late to avoid the farce. By the Western behavior towards Kosovo and Iraq. This is what's happening right now. It's unacceptable. And Europe has to speak up in one voice. The aim of uh, this revision of uh, uh, those relations is not uh, uh, enlargement or deepening of those relations, but uh, we uh, would like uh, to uh, be less dependent uh, uh, from, uh, from Russia. I think uh, uh, it's not uh, time anymore to talk uh, about uh, visa freedom engaged with Russia. This time is over. Yeah, yeah, you know, we